Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Reed. I'm one of the technical accounting managers here at Least Query. And today we're gonna to be walking you through how to use one of our free tools, which is the implicit interest rate calculator. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do um, is go to leasequery.com, which is where we are. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to go to the resources section and click free tools. And so LeaseQuery is a SaaS product um, that allows you to store your leases and provides compliance with the new lease accounting standards. Um, but just on our website, we have all these free tools available for you to assist with that. But we're gonna be looking specifically at the rate implicit calculator. So you'll wanna click on the rate implicit calculator. And then you're gonna go ahead and click use the tool and it'll prompt you to put in your email address. And the reason for this is because it sends you the results via email. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our email and click start. So you're gonna be brought to this calculator and what this represents, um, the rate implicit, is the interest rate inherent in your lease agreement. You need to come up with a borrowing rate, which might be the implicit rate, uh, if you're transitioning to any of the new lease accounting standards. Uh, this might not be available information as the lessee. Um, as you'll see, some of these inputs uh, require judgment potentially, or even less or inputs that might not be given to you. But we're gonna use this calculator to come up with the implicit or inherent rate in our lease. And so the first step is to put in a name, let's just call this example. And then we'll select our jurisdiction. So you can select whichever jurisdiction your lease falls under. And then the specific standard, 840 versus 842. Of course, 842 is the new standard. And then you'll click next. From here, it's just gonna ask you some information about your lease when it starts and ends. So you'll type in the terms here. I'm gonna say 1-1-2018 to 12-31-2024. That'll be our lease term and click next. Now you're gonna be brought to the section where it's gonna ask you for the fair value. And of course, you've got the definition here of what the fair value is, um, but this might not be something that you have information about if you are, again, the lessee. So as the lessee, you might not know what the fair value of the asset is once you get into the lease agreement. As the lessor, you probably know these values. Uh, you'll be able to calculate this implicit rate. But the fair value is the price um, that you would get in order to sell this asset at lease commencement. Now it's worth noting here that for 842, any investment tax credits expected to be realized by the lessor should be taken out of this um, and any deferred initial direct costs should be added to this value. So we're gonna go ahead and put in here $100,000 for our fair value at lease commencement. We're gonna click next. Next, you're gonna see there's a spot for you to put in your payments here. So depending on the terms of your lease, you might have monthly payments, you might have annual payments. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do though is put in the amount, select the frequency, monthly or annually, put in the first payment date, and either the number of payments or just the last payment date. So our terms are from 1-1-2018 to 12-31-2024. So I'm gonna assume that these payments are made in advance on the first and the last payment is 12-1-2024. Further, if you have escalations within your contract, you can put that here, whether it's an amount or percentage, and then the frequency. So does this happen every year, every quarter, every month even? I'm gonna say it happens every one year. You're also able to add additional payments if you'd like. So if you have other payments outside of just the base rent, but then you'll click see payment schedule. You'll see our payment stream one, which is gonna show us our payments. And then with our escalations over the lease term, we're gonna have some 5% increases. Our grand total is gonna be $97,703. So that information you'll probably know or have access to. 
since it's written within your contract. All right, so we've put in the payments. Now we need to go ahead and move forward by clicking next. And it's gonna ask us for the expected residual value. So again, this might not be available for the lessee, um, but what this value represents is for the lessor, when they get the asset back at the end of the lease, what's it gonna be worth? So you will put in the expected residual value and let's just say we expect this asset at the end of our lease term to be worth $50,000 and click submit. Now you're gonna see a thank you screen and you have the option to go ahead and use this calculator again. Uh, but what you're gonna receive via your email is going to be the results of the implicit calculation or the rating implicit calculation. So you wanna check your email to see if you got those results. It's gonna be something like rate implicit results, rate implicit calculator results. And it should look something like this. It'll come from info at leasequery.com, be titled rate implicit calculator results and show you the details of your lease. So here is our example lease with our starting or commencement date, end date, term, fair value, expected residual value, and our payment schedule below. So based on the terms that we just walked through, the implicit rate within our lease is 8.59%. And this represents the inherent rate or the profit margin of the lessor uh, within the lease agreement. All right, so that about wraps it up for today. Um, thank you again for your interest within our free tool. Um, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us.